Kami from Me Paintings and today I would like to share with you easy fluid art tutorial which anyone can do. So let's dive straight into it. And these are all the things which we'll need for our fluid art project. The most important things, the pouring medium which is amazing, it creates beautiful cells. It's from Dale Rowney. Then these acrylic fluid colors which is from the same company it's called acrylic introduction set it has got beautiful range of paints also silicone oil and i'll be painting on strathmore canvas panel which is size 9 by 12 inches these are primed but if you'll be doing this project on a bigger canvas i suggest you paint on cotton canvas with wooden frame these are just thin canvases Firstly, I'm gonna mix my paint, so I'm gonna use this lemon yellow color and put it in the cup. I will put 10 milliliters of lemon paint in there, like that, and put it in this cup. And then I'm gonna add pouring medium. It says that we should mix one part system three fluid color to five parts of pouring medium so i put 10 milliliters of paint in there that means i need to put 50 milliliters of pouring medium in there now mix it all very well time to add silicone oil I'm gonna add three or two drops of silicone oil in each paint. One, two. Now mix it up a little bit. Maybe 10 times. And this is the consistency of my paint. So we can start creating. My paints are prepared. I mixed blue hue, yellow green, red, magenta and lemon yellow. I've got this canvas here and I will also need another one, but I'm gonna put this aside for now. I will take another cup and pour my colors in this cup. I'm gonna start with yellow and orange, magenta, blue hue and yellow green. And I'm gonna do a flip cup, which means I just put my canvas on the top of the cup and then just flip it like this. And let's see the magic. Ooh, some beautiful cells appeared. Now I'm gonna spread it everywhere. And it's perfectly fine if you want to keep it like this, but I'm going to take another canvas and I'm going to stick this canvas onto my first one. Push together. That's so cool! This will be a perfect background for my future idea. And after five minutes, I decided to do balloon stamps on this kind of art because it should create some beautiful patterns in there. So let's see. Gorgeous! Wow! So it could be trees. Perfect. This will be a beautiful scenery with trees. So I'm going to let it dry for two days and then I show you what to do next.
the paint is dry now so I can start embellishing it and the structure on this is amazing. It reminds me of Enchanted Forest. So I'm gonna start by drawing these lines with acrylic marker, white one, because I want to add some contrast into these dark colors. I can see that this shape actually reminds me of some kind of interesting bush and these will be trees. I just have to decide which ones will be in front and which ones will be hidden. These trees look like they should be in front. And now I'm gonna do some shading with white acrylic color mixed with a little bit of water. And do a little bit of shading. I'm gonna take my wet baby wipe and spread this white like this. I'm also going to draw little details on my trees and bushes. And this is the result of my fluid art project. So as you can see, you can go absolutely wild with fluid art. You can let your imagination free and create amazing sceneries. This is the first one and this is how I embellished the second one. Just a few simple doodling which creates amazing abstract piece. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. I wish you all loads of success with your art projects. Bye.